Hello, I'm Thea Gurken, one of the senior editors here at Acoustic Guitar, and today I'm here with a Martin J28 LSE baritone guitar. The J28 LSE is brand new for 2011, and it's significant because it's the first time that Martin has built a baritone model as a stock guitar. Until recently, baritones have been primarily the domain of individual custom guitar makers, so many players haven't had a chance to check one out. But with several mainstream manufacturers now offering this type of instrument, the baritone's existence as a highly specialized niche guitar may be over. Just what is a baritone? The exact specs and tunings can vary a bit, but generally, a baritone will have a longer scale length than a standard guitar, which allows it to be tuned much lower, really putting it in between a guitar and a bass. Martin suggests tuning the J28 LSE from B to B, and have a listen to the rumble of just one string, the open bottom string. You can tell there's a lot going on there. Martin chose a scale length of 27.675 inches for the J28 LSE, which is in the middle of the spectrum used for baritone guitars. The guitar is built with a solid Sitka spruce top and a solid Indian rosewood back and sides. The appointments are standard style 28 in style, which means black and white binding around the body, a simple rosette, and basic position dots in the ebony fingerboard. Martin chose chrome Grover tuners for the instrument. The J28 LSE's long scale neck is joined to the company's 17 inch wide grand jumbo body. As you can see, the result is a big guitar, but it's set up to play quite easy, although long stretches with a fretting hand uh, may take a bit of extra effort. We've already heard what the guitar sounds like for single notes and light strumming in the intro to this video, so let's have a listen to how it sounds played finger style. I've tuned it to the equivalent of dadgat tuning, which now puts my low string all the way down to an A, like this. So here we go. As you hear, the guitar's great sustain can be put to good use on a slow tune like this. And if you haven't heard a baritone before, you might think that there's an actual bass playing as well. Martin figured that many players would want to use the J28 LSE on stage or in the studio, so they included a DTAR pickup system in the package. Called the Wavelength Multisource, the system combines an undersaddle pickup and an internal microphone with an 18-volt preamp and onboard controls. The microphone is mounted just inside the sound hole at the cross-section of the X-braces, and the volume and brand control are located in the bass side edge of the sound hole, right here. Let's have a listen to how the guitar sounds when plugged in, using a combination of the pickup and microphone signals. I'm running it through a Fishman Loudbox 100 amp, which is being mic'd, so you can get a sense of what it sounds like in the room. So that's the Martin J28 LSE. The guitar has a list price of $3,899 and it sells for about $2,900. It's a really fun guitar that would make an excellent addition for someone who already has a nice standard six string and whether you're using it to discover new compositional ideas, to match your singing voice, or just to cover a tonal range that was difficult to achieve before, it's definitely worth checking out. You can read the complete review at AcousticGuitar.com on the April 2011 issue of Acoustic Guitar. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Taya Gurkin.